Hi, this is John. We wanted to directly compare the RFN to the Suron X and just see the points of difference. A lot of you guys are fans of the X and they've been a really good bike. They've been around for a while. But this, I think, is one of the first things that's going to really shake, shake them up a little bit and maybe make them work harder. This bike is really well put together. So let's compare them directly. Firstly, the seat position on the Suron has always been a problem. For a real rider, you need to be able to get further forward, and that's why we make these aftermarket seats. So that's a bit of a letdown. But if you look at this RFN, you've got this MX style seat, which allows you to get forward and back. So that's going to make you ride better. So that is a positive for the RFN. Let's have a look at the handlebars. So these handlebars are more of a motorcycle style. They've got a fixed clamp up the top. They don't use the mountain bike style. The bars aren't the best curve, so, but that's something you can change. These ones use a mountain bike style with a mountain bike riser. I don't mind them, but again, from stock, you have to raise those bars. Both of these bars are too low. What about suspension? So it looks like, and we need to do some measurements, but the suspension on the front of the RFN definitely has beefier upper tubes, which would give it more strength compared to the Suron. Um, this one's using KKE forks. This one, I'm not too sure of the brand. It's not a KKE. Uh, we'll see about that later. The rear suspension, both are using KKE rear shocks, which seem to be okay, but that's something that, you know, most people like to upgrade. That's a personal uh, preference. Now, wheels. So the Suron X comes with basically mountain bike style hubs with J spokes. Now that's a weak point. Anyone that rides fast finds that the spokes go loose, they bust spokes, uh, the rims are too narrow, there's not many tire choices. So that's a letdown. A lot of people are spending money on getting better rims and better uh, hubs. So the bonus on the RFN it comes with its stock. We've got a, an 18 by 1.85 uh, rear wheel with CNC hubs, straight pull spokes. So that's a quality rim. And this tire, it's a CST 90 by 118. It's really good compound. It's really soft and grabby and it's not too open. So I think that's going to be a really good tire. The front tire is good as well. So overall the wheels on the RFN are far better. Front and rear uh, CNC hubs, whereas you've got J spokes and mountain bike grade. So big win for the RFN. Okay, what about the battery? So both these batteries are made by the same company, Greenway, and they're a reputable company, uh, using 2170 LGs. Similar size, this one's 35 ampere hour, 74 volt. This one's 60 ampere hour, 40, sorry, 40 ampere hour, 60 volt. So technically this is actually a bigger battery in, in um, capacity. So that's a good thing. I know that also RFN is talking about making a bigger uh, capacity battery. So that will be interesting. So batteries are on par. You're gonna get similar range. So there's not much different there. Um, as far as the motor goes, if you have a look at this motor, this is where it gets completely different. So the Suron has a primary drive, so it's a primary belt drive. Now we often break the belts, which is a weakness, and they're really hard to change. So it has a primary drive and then a chain drive. If you look at the RFN, it has a direct drive link with the same chains 420. This one's running a 58 tooth sprocket standard. Now that's a bonus because you're not gonna break belts. Now to achieve this, what they've had to do is redesign the motor. So this motor is physically larger in circumference and it's, the stator is a lot wider. So it's torque output because of the wider stator uh, is a lot higher. Now they're claiming, I think 53 or 55 um, Newton meters of torque from the motor which is significantly more than the Suron, but the Suron has the gearing to compensate. But 
we've had them out and on rabbit mode versus uh, the fast mode, the sport mode on the X, almost identical. It's the rocket mode on this, which they're claiming is 11, 12 kilowatts. We'll yet to, yet to prove that, but it's definitely a lot quicker. Although the rocket mode is limited to 10 seconds, which is annoying. I'm sure they'll fix that very, very soon. So power wise, very similar in the, in the standard setting for this one compared to the max setting for this, but definitely the rocket mode launches a lot more so that's that's a good thing so overall performance this one gets the nod has a lot more potential now let's talk about looks and that's a very personal thing um, I think this because I'm a motorcycle rider this is far better looking than the X that's very hybridy mountain bikey and that's okay you know in some cases that but that might be a good thing for you what we have asked the factory is, can you produce a nice black version, which is more discreet? So we'll put up some pics of that. Um, so there is a batch of black ones on the way, which I think is going to be an absolute winner. So looks, I'll give the RFN the definite tick, tick for that. As far as range goes, they're going to have very similar range. Um, our experience is generally 50 watts per kilometer or 80 watts per mile. So two and a half kilowatt capacity or 2,500 watts. Divide your 50 into that, 50 kilometer range. Very similar on this or 30 miles on bush trail sort of riding. If you're riding on a motocross track, you're gonna kill that battery in half the time just from the power output and the, and the surface. But you know, in general, that's enough. These bikes, you're getting a couple of hours ride time in general conditions and that's enough and they've both got swappable batteries. Um, as far as the pegs go, this one's got more motorcycle grade stainless pegs. Um, weight, this one does weigh more, claiming around 65 kilo. You can feel it a little bit when you lift it up, but when you ride it, you don't notice it. I think it's the layout and the ergonomics. So I'll give that one, give that one a tick. Um, as far as everything else goes, the bash plate on this setup uh, is a lot stronger and it has more ground clearance than the X. Uh, we obviously make the you know, pro bash plates for the Suron, which it needs because it's quite easy to knock your motor. This one's definitely stronger, but we'll test it over time to see how that goes. So overall, this is a really good package. Out of the crate, far better value. You've got the better wheels, you've got potential and more performance, you've really got the long seat, you've got the ergonomics, better rubber, you know, I think it's going to be a winner. So thumbs up to R RFN for doing a good job there. And I'm sure Suron, yeah, well, you can spend some money and upgrade it to get it to this level. So it's your choice. You might be a Suron fan and say no, but hey, this, this is definitely one of the first ones to, to be a, a viable alternative. Be really good to see how it goes with a bit more um, power boosted in maybe some aftermarket controllers 21 inch front wheel change the risers and get some track time so we'll um, give it some thorough testing and we'll update you as soon as we can because we're pretty excited by this bike so we'll talk to you later check out our website and uh, let us know if you've got any comments love to hear from you